Dolanog is the annual National Youth Parliament for young people aged 12 to 18. This year's event took place in the Croke Park Conference Centre in Dublin on March 5th. Dolanog provides an opportunity for elected representatives from the local Corlin and Oge around the country to bring their issues directly to the Minister for Children and Youth Affairs and other key policy makers. There are 34 Corlin and Oge, one in every city and county in the country. I came here today because I'm, the, I'm going to be the representative for our court up in Dublin and because I just wanted to basically improve the rights for children and the facilities for children in my area. I think the coin and Oak around the country are extremely important because there might not be so many other opportunities or organisations that give young people and teenagers the chances to speak up about what they feel about their opinions and what they feel. I work with National Mental Health Services, I plan mental health services for the whole country, and this is my third time coming to Vision or to uh, Don and Oak, because um, we've certainly heard a lot of very important messages for designing the very best service for young people. I was in the Tackling Bullying Group, and we discussed all the different types of bullying that there are, and how we can prevent it, and how students can prevent it, not just teachers. There's two themes again this year. The themes are mental health again for the third year in a row, and equality of access to education. And then under each team there was lots of different sub-issues like transport to and from education or in the mental health side, uh, bullying. Delegates then discussed the two themes chosen for this year's event, mental health and access to education. Following the discussion groups, the Dawn and Oak Council 2009 gave an update of their work over the past 12 months. Each year, one young person from each Corla is elected to the council which follows up on the recommendations made at Dawn and Oak. Young people are saying increasingly the importance of mental health and that is a real issue and that in turn I think is eroding what has often been a problem which is the stigma that is around around mental health issues. I think it's very important to give young people a voice these days as we're the people who are going to be living through the decisions that are made now in the future and that I think that that's why it's very important. The problems that we have in the county can actually come forward into Corlau, we can actually talk about them and go over recommendations and things that we can actually do to help the problem and try and resolve the problem. A lot of the ideas that were put forward I think really had weight and, and they were considered ideas and I think what was interesting as well was how people reacted when counter viewpoints were put because that's the real test in my judgement. It's, it's, it's not enough simply to have a strong view. The, the real, uh, in a sense, the real spirit of citizenship that's needed is the ability to engage and to listen to counter views and to let the best view win out. For a lot of people they might feel upset about something or that the government aren't doing this and they might hear it on TV the whole time and everything but this gives them a chance to do it themselves and get their voices heard. Seeing firsthand like the work that's done and the influence it has like it's it's amazing. Making life better for people is very important. Without it the young people's voices don't get heard so it's very important just to represent them. Very important like because it's only one chance to get to know, you know to decide issues together as a group. A lot of very sensible points were made and I'm absolutely sure you've spoken to the panellists. Uh, they were blown away by the um, particular focus on particularly mental health. So it's been an another learning uh, process for all of us policymakers. During the afternoon there was a question and answer session at which the delegates asked the minister and policymakers some tough questions on a range of topics. The final activity of the day saw delegates vote on the statements drawn up during the group discussions. We now look forward to the work by the incoming Dawn and Oak Council on the themes of mental health and access to education before the next Dawn and Oak in 2011.